Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, can we call for that daily bread? Are you ready? Remember, increase. Yeah, increase this month. Praise God. Increase. Hallelujah. Say, Father, I demand right now for my daily bread. And it's increased. Thank you, Lord. I receive it from your hand. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just bless you. You are so full of wisdom and you are just pouring out your wisdom upon us. Thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Our scripture is Psalm 119 and verse 64. What does it say? The Earth, O oh Lord, is full of thy mercy. See, if you are in Nigeria and you're in the United States of America, now this is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The prayer you should be praying for the most and don't let a day go without you consciously praying this prayer. Lord, show mercy to my nation. Show mercy to our nation. See, beyond me teaching you personally how to walk in mercy, you need to also understand the covering of mercy over your nation. Now, the Lord said to me, pray for mercy over Nigeria and over the United States of America. Pray for mercy. Now, I shared that during our uh, prayer meeting on the first. And as God gives us grace, we'll double into when he gives us utterance. Now, I can carry things in my heart that I want to share with you, but I still depend on the utterance of the Lord. So if he comes, I give. If he doesn't come, then it means he has communicated it some other way. See? But then, this is the truth. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for the United States of America especially this month of September. Now, pray. The prayer is straight. Lord, have mercy over my country. Have mercy over these countries. Maybe you're not in Nigeria or a Nigerian. Maybe you're not in the United States or um, living in the United States. Pray. Just pray. You can be an intercessor. Just pray. Just pray. Praise God. So David said, The earth, O oh Lord, is full of, thy, of your mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Teach me. Let me understand how these things work. I was talking to you yesterday about how Satan can break the hedge. Now there's a hedge of protection around you. That's what I was telling you yesterday. Whether you know it or you don't know it, you were created with a protective shield around you. Same thing with your finances. Okay? God has created a protective hedge around your finances. And what is that protective hedge? You remember, you see, in the Garden of Eden, okay? Now, watch this. God put, planted a garden and put Adam and Eve in that garden. Now, they were there. And God gave an instruction. He said, oh, you can freely eat of every tree that is in the midst of that is in the garden. You freely eat of it. But you see, this one, don't eat of it freely. And God said, the day you eat it, you will surely die. Okay? Now, the instruction was clear. Now, that command came from the place of God's status. Now, the law was, don't eat of this tree. But there was something deeper than that command. Because now when you understand the mind of God, you realize that God didn't say you cannot eat it at all. Actually, what God said, if you take note of the instruction, the first word, his, the first instruction he gave, he said, of every tree in the garden, of, in the garden you may freely, he used the word freely eat, meaning eat as you want to eat. But this one, the actual command God gave to them was you don't freely eat. Eat it. Now, because that was a tree that was good for food. It was a normal tree. There was, there was, it was not a symbol. There was it just a normal tree. 
So why would God tell them not to eat from a tree that is normal? Okay. Why would God say that? Because he was communicating something to them deeper than the law of tree and food. He was communicating a status from his heart. And what is that status? The, the mindset of setting apart something for the Lord's purpose. Now, that's why if you've ever read my book I wrote on tithing several years ago, 19, no, 2000 and 2008, yeah, I wrote a book on Titan. If you've ever read that book, I think it's, on, it's available online on seller.com. Um, Titan, a must, not an option. Okay. Now, if you ever read that book, I, I explain that Titan actually started right from the Garden of Eden. Now, you know, people have heard this thing and say, how can you say Titan started? People have come on with Titan. Yes. Why? See, because the status, the statutes of God in that garden, I told you what statutes are, was communicating the setting aside. Now, understand, that tree was a normal tree. And, 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 you know, people get this mixed up many times. That when they ate the tree, their eyes opened. Their eyes did not open because of the fruit of the tree. They ate. <sighs> oh, my <dear>, no <laughs> Now, watch this. I'm explaining something to you with this. But you need to understand this truth concerning it because if you don't, you will still not get what I'm sharing with you. So the, the reason God would tell them not to eat of a normal tree, said, don't eat of this tree. Actually, what God said, don't freely eat of it. Meaning, if you will ever eat of it, you will wait for my instruction before you eat of it. The other trees, you can freely eat of it. So when this one is ripe, you wait for me to come tell you, all right, let's eat it together or eat it now. Yes, that was the whole idea. Now, it was a normal tree, but God was communicating his status, his status to them. What's the status? That you will learn to keep a portion for my own use. And it is what I command you concerning that portion, you will do it. And that's the statutes of Titan. You understand what I'm saying? So before Abraham was commanded to tithe, God was already from the garden. Now, why didn't we see it in Noah and, and the rest of them? Because there was a disconnect. Don't you get it? Now, guess what? That, that, that was their protection. That was the hedge that God built around them. See, see that tree? That was the hedge. The obedience to that instruction was the hedge that God built around their well-being and their sustenance. The keeping of that law, that, that statute, that's it. So they were living peacefully. They were enjoying their life. And Satan kept looking at that hedge. How do I penetrate this hedge? I remember what I was telling yesterday. How do I penetrate this hedge? How do I penetrate? There must be a way. And then he looked at it and said, look, Eve wasn't there when God gave the instruction. And he looked at the way Adam communicated the instruction to Eve. Uh, okay, let me not go to Adam. Let me go to Eve. So he went to Eve. Has God said you shall not eat of any tree of the garden? That's what he said. Did God say they should not eat of any tree in the garden? No. But you see, Satan is smart and wise. He first of all wanted to get a way to engage Eve in a conversation. The moment Eve begins to double with her mind into the conversation, it's easy to get. I remember I was telling you about if he wants to break the hedge of, of um, sexual purity for you, how he does it. He first of all tries to get your mind engaged. So he brings pornography. He brings talks on, on, on the, somebody can just send you a, a, a message. Oh, what, well, how would you feel if I just do this to you? Ah, what's that? Eh? What's that? But something has been planted. If you don't deal with it, it might be weeks after. So Satan came to Eve and said, has God said you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? 
he has seen them eating every other tree. And then Eve goes, no, no, that's not what God said. Don't, don't lie against God. That's not what God said. God said we can eat of any tree in the garden, but of that one, we shall not even touch it. Because if we touch it, we will die. Ah, I said, I found the opportunity he was looking for. She too has misunderstood God. So he said, but you know what? You will not surely die. You will not surely die. Is that not how people have been seduced today? Oh, you don't have to tithe for God to bless you. I said, like, do you know you can actually be blessed even if you don't tithe? Look at look at all the Bill Gates. Look at all. Then I, I see some ignorant Christians trying to say, eh, the Bill Gates, they tithe somehow. Because they do lots of charity work. They don't tithe. Forget it. They don't tithe. <laughs> tithe is tithe. Charity is charity. Tithe is clear. Don't try to justify what is wrong. And don't try to, don't try to defend God without understanding. I get what I'm saying. Don't try it. You will lose. Ah, you will lose that much. Don't try defending God if God have not revealed himself to you. Now, if God have revealed something to you, it's your place to defend that testimony, okay? Yes. If God have revealed something, like you can't talk to me about that and I keep quiet. I will chew you raw in the, in the place of knowledge. Don't forget the noisemakers. When they are ready to sit down and look at what Titan is, then they will come. <laughs> it's God. So, now, now, listen. Satan began to seduce the mind of Eve. You shall not surely die. Hey, but, but no, no, hey, wait, listen to me. Now, somebody is telling you, you shall not die. You have heard, you shall die. Somebody's not saying, you will not really die. And now you want to understand what this person is saying. Because you don't want to die. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So the catch was not in, just eat, just eat, just eat. No, no, no. The catch was, let's talk about this death thing. Let me explain what God was talking about when he said, die and don't die. God knows that this tree has the ability to make you look like him. Now, ah, I'm, I'm being careful to follow a pattern, not to, it's something that came to my spirit to say now. If I say that now, it will turn your mind away from what we're talking about to start digging into that. So let's try and keep. So Satan says, you will not surely die. And this is actually what God is scared of. He doesn't, he knows that if you eat it, you will just be like him. Huh? Yeah, really? Yeah. He got her mind. And he said, try it. Try it. There is nothing Satan did to Eve that he's not doing to you today. Nothing. There is nothing. You see, it's the same principle. The same principle. Why don't you try it? And she's like, hmm, okay. She took, she ate, nothing happened to her. Nothing. If something had happened to her, she would have screamed. I'm trying to tell you that. Their eyes did not open because they ate the fruit. Satan wanted to destroy. See, he saw them in safety. He saw them enjoying life in that garden. He saw them and then, he was like, you can't have it this good. I will make you break that hedge. Now, understand that they were created in the mercy of God. That's where they were dwelling. Now, what protects that mercy? The hedge that God sets around them. Everyone's life is like this, believe me. Every child of God's life is this way. If you've ever been a success and then you dropped, this I'm showing you what happened. If you're stagnant in one particular place, I'm showing you what's going on in your life. So she ate of this fruit. Mm. 
Remember what the Bible said before she ate it? She looked at the tree again and said, but truly, it's a normal tree. Let's assume it's a mango tree. Or like a lot of people think, apple tree, okay? Since that's why you have the Adam's apple. So, very funny story. <laughs> Not true, though. So, looked at it like, what's the difference between this tree and that one? It's the same tree, the same fruit. Maybe this thing I'm hearing is true. So she took of it, ate it, mm, swallowed it. Mm, cool. Very sweet. Dama, I thought it was even going to be bitter. It's not bitter. Hey, Adam! Yes, honey. Come. I just ate it. You? Adam, chill. I'm okay. Nothing happened. Adam, maybe you didn't understand God. Maybe you just didn't understand God. Maybe you're taking things too far. You've eaten the tree. You fruit. Yeah. See now. Let me eat it again. You know? Oh, I didn't die. Did I die? Huh. Adam began to look at this tree again, like, really? Now Satan was watching. The Eve was not the problem. The problem was Adam. Because Adam can still be an hedge over Eve. So the hedge is not really broken now. But there's a crack. So he was watching. He didn't say anything at that time. Then Adam examining, looking at his wife. She didn't die. Like, uh, is she smarter than me right now? Okay. He took of it and he ate. Aha. Then Satan showed up. Said, well done, guys. Now, this thing. See, first thing you must realize is you are naked. Like, yeah, we know we are naked. Fools. Look at yourselves, you are naked. Hey, we know we are naked. Fools. Look at yourselves, you are naked. What do you mean you are naked? You should be ashamed that you are naked. It was Satan that I called the Barathenokus. It's not, you know, people say the glory of God that was, they, you know, they were naked, but the glory of God covered them. No. No. They were dwelling in the mercy of God. Are you listening to me? And it's not like when they ate the fruit, the, the glory fell off them. And then they're not, hey, we're naked. These people just have this, uh, like cloud was their covering. No. No. What happened was Satan now taught them another meaning of the word naked. That's what Satan did. He taught them another meaning of the word naked. And so really, see, see your body. See this one. Say, ah! You know, you know how things are. You can be playing around somewhere and someone will tell you, hey, what are you doing there? I said, I'm playing. I'm enjoying myself. And I said, hey, you want to kill yourself? Can't you see this? Can't you see this? That thing is dangerous. If that thing touches you, you are finished. Next thing, you're now running away from that thing. This thing that you've been playing around for years. Suddenly, you're running away from it. Why? Someone planted an idea in your mind. That's what Satan did. And that's how he broke the hedge. The eating of the fruit was not really the problem, even though they had disobeyed God in eating it. But that could have easily been repaired. Like I said, the fruit was nothing special. It was instruction that was the main thing. If they will keep God's instruction, then they are ready to do well. But the main problem now was that they believed Satan's explanation of nakedness. So what happened? Now because shame has come upon them, because of what they have opened their minds to, they believe the devil that they should be ashamed. So when God showed up, Adam, where are you? I told you, God used to show up as a man. Yes, in the Garden of Eden, God showed up as a man. So they were not running away from the voice of God. They were running away from God, the person of God. The word of God was made flesh in the Garden of Eden. So the Bible said the voice of God came walking in the Garden. So literally, someone was walking in the Garden. Now, that, now, that's how he used to come to them. So when they heard him coming, they hid themselves. I mean, think about it. Why would a man be hiding from a voice? Do you know where the voice is coming from? So they hid themselves physically because a physical being 
was coming to them. And so God says, who told you? When they say, we heard your voice and we hid ourselves because we are naked. So, so say, but, but they didn't say we saw you, say we heard your voice because that's how God shows up. God shows up physically, but you don't see him physically. I could understand what I'm saying. I didn't say you don't see him. You don't know him physically. You know him by his voice. If you don't recognize the voice of God, even though he stands beside you physically, you will not know. Read your Bible. That's why when he met Abraham as Melchizedek, how did Abraham recognize him? Blessed be Abraham of the most high God, possessor of the heaven and earth. That's how Abraham knew that. Oh, this, this is not a normal person. This is, this is him. Okay? Yeah. When Jesus rose from the dead, that's how they knew him also. Mary! And bone. She had seen him. She thought he was a gardener. And then, no, oh, sir. I mean, there's someone I just died three days ago. Okay? Hey, where, please, where did you bury him? Tell me. I, 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 I'll do anything to get him. And, uh, Mary! Raboni! Ha! Ah! <laughs> Praise God. That's how they knew him. They knew him by his voice. Okay? So Adam and Eve, they ran and hid themselves. Who told you? Actually, what God said to them is, who told you naked? That's what God said. Who told you naked? Meaning what they said to God was not what God taught them. Someone had taught them something different and my time is up. Praise God. Don't break the hedge that God has put around you. We'll continue tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.